Momi in the red corner, 46 years of age. She's a Tokyo girl. Hinata Teriyama in the blue corner. Aoko, 145cm, 47.35kg. Teriyama, 19 years of age. And one of the best gyms for kickboxing in Japan right now. This is Hinata Terayama, ladies and gentlemen. She is here to take gold today. Should she win, she walks home with 3 million yen. I say walks home, but she's probably going to be on the bullet train. This is Momi, folks. She is not about to let this young gun come in and steal her limelight. They meet each other in the center of the ring. Three three minute rounds with the possibility of two overtime rounds. This is it, folks. The Rise Girls Power Queen of Queens 2020 tournament final. Round one! Round one underway. Momi immediately respecting the reach of Terayama. Terayama with the first contact. Let's see what sort of pace Momi wants to set here because at 36, you've got to take that into account that it being the second contest of the night as well. That's right, the quarterfinals took place in Yokohama a few weeks ago. And tonight, both of these ladies have fought twice. Terayama looking very good in the offset here with her control. Keeping the center, throwing in some nice long strikes from everywhere. Typically of the Tekken style of fighter. Go for the lead high kick. Hinata Terayama. Closing the distance now, Momi. Backs off out. of the 19-year-old Terayama looking very, very relaxed, but focused. Just that calm determination. She's got that maturity as well. Despite being 19, she fights as if she's beyond her years. Momi has the experience. 60 bouts. Sorry, 61, including her semi-final earlier here tonight. A ton of experience, but it looks like she's having trouble unpacking the equation that is tall. Teriyama. Yeah, Teriyama brings a total package. You've got that height, that physical ability, the variety of techniques, skills, and she's completely composed, totally unfazed. She's here in the final, in front of a sellout crowd in Osaka, and she just looks at home. Momi going inside and back out again. It might do her well to stay inside, stay in the face of Terayama as Sasori did. Yeah, Sasori had some success with that initially in the semi-final. She was landing, that's for sure. But just nothing seems to phase this young lady, Hinata Terayama. The audience very quiet for this. Ten seconds left in round one. Big right hand from Terayama. Just falling short there in the last exchange, Momi. She shakes her head. She's not quite sure how to solve this conundrum, I think. Yeah, when Momi came in there and fired something off, she wanted to get straight back out. The other thing, Mark, is finding 
sparring partners, high level sparring partners with the height and range of Terayama. See, she does a really good job, Momi, of landing in the close range and then she backs off out and she has to watch for the kicks. Yeah, the kicks to the midriff land in there. There's no other fighter at this age, at that size, this weight category that can replicate the style of Terayama. Coach Nasgawa leaves the ring. Momi comes straight back in, trying to get in the face of Terayama, but Terayama keeping her at bay with those kicks. Push kick, which she used so well against Sasori earlier tonight. Momi has two rounds to unpuzzle this conundrum that is Terayama. Popping in a right cross there, Hinata Terayama. Gonna have to break that up there. Back to the center of the ring. Momi with her cow tail, swinging back and forth. Terayama just towering above her. I believe Momi was the shortest of all the eight women in this tournament, 148 centimeters. Against what surely the tallest. Right hand from Terayama. Momi holding her own in these close exchanges. Coach Naskawa calling for a jab, high kick from Terayama. One, two from Terayama, goes to the high kick. Momi trying to find her way inside. Terayama pushing. Momi pressing forward, doing the right thing. The more she gets in the face of Terayama, the more she can make it work with her style and her size. She just needs to give Terayama something to think about. Less than 60 seconds left in the second round now. Nice spinning kick from Terayama. Only staying focused, but playing the in and out game. Up to seconds. Big kicks from Terayama. Looking for the right hand, not unloading it there. Last 10 seconds, nice. Left hook there. Made contact that one. Yeah, Momi we'll doing a good job when she's in that close range. There's the bell. Now, all of these ladies are under strict instructions to go out and give 100% and look for the knockout. They have been told officially, publicly, that if they constantly go to the unanimous decision or split decisions, any decisions by the judges, that they might not get the opportunity of the tournament next year. This is Rise, this is why they call it the extreme fight game. You make your name, you make your reputation on KOs and what you do in that ring. Nothing but the best and highlight material from all of our roster. Seconda. Both women will be looking for a Seconda. highlight reel finish in order to win this in style. Big key eye Round shout and foot stomp from Hinata Terayama as she answers the call for the third and final round here. Let's see if Momi can get in her face and knock her down. Let's see if Terayama can do the job with her height and reach. Looking 
very aggressive now in this third round is Momi. Better head movement as well, I believe. Which she desperately needs against these long one-two shots from Terayama. When Momi moves in now for the first shot, she might be more willing to stay there in the pocket now in round three. Trickle of blood from the nose of Terayama. Doesn't face him. Combination there, one-two kick from Terayama. One minute elapsed, two minutes to go in the third and final round. Momi's call, corner calling for combinations. She throws a big right, but no sting in it. She throws another big right there. And we go to the body now. Teriyama with the long push, deep kick. Low kicks followed by upstairs punches from Momi. This is a good spell for Momi now. Oh, nice leaping right lead hook from Momi. I'd like to see more of them from her. Last one. Last one minute. Still anybody's game. Good job from Terayama there. Getting out of the way of the punches in the close range. Happy now to exchange a little bit with Momi. Going with a spinning back fist. Not enough power. Turning up the volume now, both of these ladies. Less than 30 seconds. Momi pressing, but Terayama wraps her up. Momi goes to the body, goes to the head, finishes off with an inside low kick. Another spin back fist attempt. Closing seconds now, Momi on the ropes with Terayama looking for a big right cross. And there's the bell. Yes. There we go. We're going to have to see what the judges say. Momi again shakes her head. She's just not sure how to get the finish here against young Terayama. That was the best Momi looked in round three. She saved her best to last. If only maybe she could have shown some of those moments earlier on. With the dynamics of the the physical differences between the two, I think it just it just took Momi some time to find her way. Let's go to the judges for the official score. Yoshida, 30 to 28. Oh, to Terayama. Judge Osawa, 30. 28. 30 to 28. Oh, Terayama. Terayama. Judge Ogawa, 30 to 28. It's unanimous. Oh, Terayama. Hinata Terayama is the new Rise Terayama. Girls Power Hinata. Queen of Queens 2020 Winner. champion. Terayama. Congratulations, Hinata Terayama. 19 years old. This could be the dawn of a new era here in Rise. The era of Hinata Terayama. She's been able to hang with the other seven ladies in this tournament and she's stuck to her game plan, she's listened to her coaches, she's executed her skill set. And she's looking somewhat emotional and quite rightly so. This is a very big win for her on the biggest stage in Japan right now. Yeah, she used her skills, her size to the fullest, executed her game plan, and she's come out on top, and she will be crowned. Rise Girl Power Queen of Queens. Mr. Ito making it official, presenting her with the award.
the belt waiting in the background. She gets her award from Takashi Ito. Still somewhat emotional. Hinata Terayama is the champion. She is the girls' power queen of queens. 2020. She receives the belt to sign and seal the deal. Both hands raised for the team Teppen standout. Hinata Terayama, a huge round of applause from everybody here in the Edian Arena in Osaka. A worthy winner, if there ever was one. She receives her 3 million yen Fight Money Award which is quite a lot of money for a 19-year-old. I don't believe I made that money when I was 19. She receives several more awards from our sponsors. あわせて勝利者賞といたしまして岩本選手おめでとうございます。寺山選手おめでとうございます。佐々木さん、長い戦いとなりました。過酷な道のりを制しました。寺山、日向選手にコメントをいただきます。え、まずは決勝戦で